Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida. You know, some people say that learning to fly a helicopter is like trying to balance a BB on a grease billiard ball. And that makes earning a helicopter rating a pretty expensive undertaking. Now, here at Lakeland, Redbird is showing off a new simulator called the VTO that is supposed to address the cost and ease of getting a helicopter rating. And here's Roger Sharp to give us the details. Well, the idea was to take the same technology we've been using in the fixed wing world and bring it to helicopters. So we had to design a simulator, a trainer, that would allow people to do two things. One, become proficient in hovering before they ever get in a helicopter and also do auto rotation practice. All the other maneuvers that you do in helicopter training are very straightforward, cross country, straight and level flight, very simple in a helicopter. The difficulty in learning to fly a helicopter is that you have controls in left hand, right hand, and your feet, and when you change one of those, you have to simultaneously coordinate the other two, and that takes a bit of practice. So this device is designed to teach people how to coordinate those maneuvers until it becomes intrinsic memory, and then when they transition to the actual helicopter, it becomes a piece of cake. Well, the visuals are an outshoot of what we've learned you know, in the FMX and MCX series, and we've just made them a little bit, uh, the, the graphic display is a little more finite, so that you can get small cues from the ground movements when you're doing hovering maneuvers. The, the simulator, um, are, they're actually not projected. They come from computer screens that do 180 degree wraparound visual so that you have a full field of vision through the entire movement as you would in the helicopter, left and right. And there's a row of screens by your feet so that you can look down through what would be the chin panel in the helicopter and control it in the hover in that, in that way. The flight dynamics are getting really close. They're not, they're not perfect yet, but we're getting there. You know, we had to design a brand new motion base to give us the granularity we needed for the small changes we have to make in the stick movement to make those realistic in the movement that we get in the motion base. And right now, I kind of, it's like a first date. I'm not sure the flight dynamics and the, and the motion dynamics are really, uh, are really in sync with each other, but it's a good first date. I think, uh, I think probably in about a week, We'll have this dial down so they're, they're, they're really close. The other thing this will allow us to do is, while this is set up as a Bell 47, we do have controls that can turn this into uh, the teeter control for a Robinson. And we can also change the flight dynamic profile so that it'll fly very much like a Robinson as well. The devices are available right now. The first five are going to be sold for 129000 and then after that they'll be 149000 But when you consider the amount of time and money a learner can save by developing the skills and the trainer, it makes it a no-brainer for any kind of a decent-sized helicopter flight school.